YouTube, how are you now? Sean here from the EDC Den. Welcome back to the channel, one and all. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're taking a look at a couple of keychain flashlights. These two lights are identical with the exception that the black is in stainless steel, noted here as the SS, and this one here is in titanium. You've got that noted on the box with the TI, titanium version. Okay, so these two lights were sent in by Nightcore. Thank you so much to the people at Nightcore. This is the second time they've sent me a light, so I do thank you very much for sending this over for me to check out. Right off the bat, guys, this is a really, really great keychain light. You can see on the box here, 500 lumens. That's a lot of output for a small light like this. This runs off of a rechargeable battery. Okay, so we'll get into some of the details here. So first of all, what's the point of this light? Well, it's an everyday carry light for your everyday carry needs. Um, and it's a keychain light. So this is meant to go onto your keychain, of course. I'll show you what that looks like in comparison to the rest of your keychain here. So it is smaller than the key fob for my Chevy truck uh, by quite a bit, actually. That's what it looks like compared to a house key. So not much bigger than a house key, really. And that's what it's going to look like roughly dangling on your keys. So a pretty small addition to your keychain, especially considering the use that you do get out of this keychain light. All right, so a little walk around the light. Here we've got the power button on and off. You can see that when the light is on, the display is also on. This is showing me some information. It shows me that I'm on level two for the brightness mode. I'm in daily mode rather than demo mode. So it says daily rather than demo. I'll explain the difference soon. And it shows that I have four hours and five minutes left on this level two low setting. Okay, here we've got the two lights that create all of the output. Up top, we've got the information display setting. This is gonna quickly tell you which level you're on how much battery you have, how much voltage you're putting out, and which user mode you're in, uh, daily versus demo. On the side here, we've got the USB charging port. This is a USB-C cable. Okay, so USB-C to charge this up. And that's the extent of the light. You've got your two buttons, your display, your lights, your charging cable. That's all you got. Pretty basic. Uh, the interface is a little more complicated, so we'll go through that now. Essentially, to keep it simple, you've got your power button. So right now the light is on, and then you've got your brightness settings. Level three, 65 lumens. Level four, 200 lumens. Level one is one lumen. That's basically just your moonlight mode. And then we're back to level two, 15. 365, level 4, 200 lumens. The fifth mode is like the ultra bright mode. That's the 500 lumens that they talk about on the box. And you achieve that by holding down the power button here. Or sorry, the, the, the menu button. Uh, so you hold that down and you get your 500 lumens. The super, super bright guys, I won't shine that directly in your face, but trust me, it does feel like 500 lumens. Uh, you can't leave that on unless you're pushing this button, holding it down. And that's good because this light does heat up quite a bit. It gets really hot, so they just want you using the 500 lumens just as needed for a few little seconds at a time. You can see there that I only have four minutes left on the 500 mode. Keep in mind that's with... Uh, a reduced battery, you can see my battery's almost dead on this one. We're getting to the last kind of 20%. I believe this one's fully charged. Yep, so let's see how many lumens we could potentially, how many minutes of lumens we could potentially get out of a full battery. So about 15 minutes on the turbo 500 mode. If you've got a full battery, like I said, this one only has three or four minutes left. It's kind of nearing, uh, the point where it needs a recharge. All right, so in a nutshell, like I said, you turn the light on and you can cycle through your brightness modes till you find one that suits you. When you turn the light off, 
back on, it's going to stay in the mode that you left it. And then to access the turbo mode, you hold the button down, it'll show you your 500 looms. Okay, so at this point, I'm just going to insert the technical data for you guys and some of the specifications, just so you can have that information. Pause the screen if you'd like to read it. So we've gone through the basics of just scrolling through to select your desired brightness. Uh, a few other features that are really great with this light you can lock the light so that if you have this in a bag or attached to a bag or something or it's in your pocket you don't want it to come on automatically you can lock the light uh, so that these buttons are not functional uh, you do that by clicking the power button twice and on the second press you're going to hold down the button so it's like a click and a hold down so one two hold it down and you see the two stage of lock coming on. You see a lock there with the number two. So the light is now locked out. I can't do anything with it unless I unlock the light. So that's pretty great. You're not gonna drain your battery accidentally. So I'll turn the light back on so we can start using it again. The same way I turned it off, it's a double click and you keep your thumb down on the button on the second press. So one, two, and it even indicates a key showing that it's unlocked. So that's the stage two of the locking. If you want to do just a single stage lockout, same deal, one, two, you see the number one, you take your thumb off, and now you're locked out basically just to one degree. Uh, what this is going to allow is kind of an emergency, you can still access your turbo mode. So I can still keep my finger on this button, get to my turbo mode, Otherwise, the light is not functional with these buttons and to unlock it back to regular mode the same way I got into the locked mode double click holding down the second one. So one, two and I'm unlocked and back in action. And on that note for the lockout, I've had these lights for two or three months now and I've had two accidental occasions where I turned it on. I basically picked up my keys in a clump and one of my keys rubbed up against the button turned it on I realized right away because the room that I was in lit up to some degree so I just turned it off uh, I didn't bother using the lockout features um, maybe I will if I'm traveling and I don't want to drain the battery while I'm traveling um, but for the little instances where this comes on accidentally uh, it's pretty obvious because the light is right there and it, you can tell that it's on so you just turn it off but it is a good feature to have these little lockout modes. I could see myself using that uh, in a travel situation. Okay, so the other uh, little bit of a complicated feature here is daily mode versus demo mode. You can see the word daily right there. Um, that's your daily mode. It's, it's just what it's meant to be. Everyday use, you wanna be in your daily mode. Um, the other mode is demo. You get to that by pressing these two buttons at the same time. See, it just switched to demo and it's going to indicate demo up there. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, it's going to shut off automatically after 30 seconds and it even gives you a little countdown timer. So 27, 26, so it's counting down. Uh, if we were to let that run all the way out, the light would shut itself off after 30 seconds. So that's demo mode. I don't use it. I keep it in daily mode. So I'm going to switch back to that by pushing these two buttons at the same time. And it just switched back into daily. And there we go. Okay, so let's give you a little look at the titanium version. It's the exact same light. It's just a little bit more lightweight and you've got this nice titanium casing on it. So when these lights are off, you can just quickly check your stats without turning the actual light on. Just hit your little menu button. You can see that the lights do not go on, but your display does come on. It gives you a little readout about what level you're on. So level three in daily mode, and we've got a full battery charge on this. Great little lights, guys. I believe these are in the $60 range, uh, maybe 65 if you get the cable included with it. So you have the option of getting the USB-C 
charging cable with the light or without and that'll save you five or ten dollars but yeah these are in the sixty dollar range uh, really great I mean it's an expensive little keychain light I suppose but 500 looms this isn't your average keychain light you can really get a lot of output you can really get a lot of use out of this uh, for short little jaunts and trips it can replace a larger light um, you know for your bigger outdoor missions you're probably going to reach for a handheld light but if you're attaching a light to like a fanny pack or a backpack or your keys these are pretty great just extremely small lightweight you can charge them up and they last a good while um, each mode is going to tell you how much time you have left on it which is pretty great so i'm on level three and i have a good two and a half hours left on the you know the third highest setting that's a whole lot of light and uh, a lot of times you can get away with just using these on one of the first two brightness settings like level one moonlight mode just for getting around your tent or maybe level two, 15 lumens, just getting yourself to the washroom and hotel room at nighttime or something where you're not familiar where the light switches are, stuff like that. So just a small amount of light to navigate through the darkness. And look at that, level two with 15 lumens, you're gonna have eight hours. That's a lot of time, guys. You don't need your light on for that long. You're just using it in little flashes. So really good output, really good battery times. Uh, I've been very pleased with these lights. So we've talked about the lights and the settings. We've showed you the technical data. Now we wanna see how they perform in the dark. So let's get out there. We'll check out these lights in some darkness. We'll do some interior and exterior lighting situations. Uh, I'll roll that footage in now and then I'll come back and we'll wrap it up. Here's my kitchen with one lumen, 15 lumens, 65 lumens, 200 lumens and that last click that's the 500 lumens we'll cycle through that again so moonlight mode up to 15 65 lumens 200 and turbo mode here with the 500 lumens lighting up the whole room now we're outside trying to find my truck in case we hear something go bump in the night that's just the moonlight mode. You can't see much with this one lumen. Um, here we get up to 15 lumens. You can just see a little bit of the truck, a little birch tree there on the left. Can't see too, too much, but it's at about 15 feet, the truck. Here we go to 65. Now we can start to see things. 65 lumens, that's able to light up the pathway to the truck that brown box in the back that's about 30 feet away the truck is about 15 feet away so with the third level setting there it's pretty good 65 lumens you can definitely get around in the darkness outside let's check out the 200 lumens coming up here so that just lights it up even further we can get a good look at that brown box in the background we can see the whole truck uh, the foreground, the trees, all the bushes and rocks, everything's lit up really nicely. And the last, the turbo mode coming up here, 500 lumens, there it is. And that's just like having the sun out. Just lights up the whole area, all the trees in the background. It's pretty impressive for such a little light, just a great amount of light for being outside. Now we'll light up just a random patch of woods. You don't see much on the one lumen. Here's the 15 lumens, 65, 200, and the turbo 500 lumens really lighting up the woods nicely. You can really see back far deep into the woods. I hope that shows up on camera, but you really can get a good look on deep, deep back into the woods. We'll cycle through that again. One lumen, 15, 65, 200 lumens and 500 lumens there and that really does light up the woods nicely all right so that's going to do it thanks again everybody for watching and thanks again to the people at nightcore for sending these great little lights the tiny two thanks so much take care everybody